Hey. Hey. What's up? Hey, what's up? <laughs> what's going on? Such a beautiful day, right? Oh, yeah. I'm yeah, feeling nice blessed. Day, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Anyway, hey, I tried that drink, man. I don't know. I don't know, man. The green yeah. That mint, that mint tea, man, I don't know. Kind of made me gag a little bit. I didn't taste the mint. Really? Yeah, I didn't taste the mint. Uh. Yeah, I mean you can smell it as soon as you as soon as you open it up. You I smell smelled it. it. I didn't taste it. Almost like you say my teas smell a certain way, but Yeah. You don't yeah, taste like, it. I don't know if I'm gonna Thank do like a green if I'm gonna do a green tea, I want it to to taste like grass. Like I don't think <laughs> it, it, The other one yeah, did. No, the other one did. Yeah, I don't know if I just got to get used to this, but it was a little bit too much, man. It's like, you know, I know it's this is a really good one. It's expensive as hell, but um, but damn, you know, when I drink it, I'm used to having that wheatgrass taste, which is not yeah. the best taste, but it's almost like that it feels taste healthy. That you know, <laughs> Tastes healthy. Yeah, it's almost, you know what's like? It's almost like a Listerine. You know, if you take the yellow Listerine. That you, it's gonna kill. It's gonna kill the bad breath. But if you do, it's doing its job. The blue one is just gonna, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's doing its job. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, but I, yeah, I don't know. Kind of, kind of made me, uh, maybe gay a little bit. Oh. Yeah. But uh, anyway, um, so we we should get a few people up on here today, and um, I, I do appreciate everybody who's been tuning in. And uh, oh, by the way, before I, before I go there, anybody who has not listened to Angel's interview on Instagram that she did last night, you need to go check it out. You need to. Uh, it's on. Where, what, what's the what's the what's the Instagram address that's on? Where's it at? Planet Law. Planet Twelve. Yeah, Planet Twelve. Planet Twelve Law. Right. Yeah, Planet Twelve Law. Yeah. So it was a really, it was about an hour and a half interview. And uh, the brother who conducted the interview, we've known him for a very long time. Um, he knows his, he knows his thing. He knows his music, everything from freestyle to funk. The guy's really on point, mm -hmm. you know, but. um he sure is. Yeah. So he, um, yeah, it was a good, inter it was a good interview. Did you, yeah. did you feel like he brought you places that none of the other interviewers have brought you? Absolutely, and, and and it's so crazy. Yeah. Um, I forgot I was being interviewed. Yeah. So I'm sure when I listen back, I'm gonna say, "Oh my God, did I say that?" <laughs> yeah, no, no, it was good. I was listening to it from the office. I was checking it out, and uh, yeah. there was a quite a there was a few points in there that you brought up that I didn't even know. That I know. It, it, I, unless you told me, I just wasn't listening. I don't know. Yeah, because you know <laughs> how you are. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a it was a good interview. So, but, yeah. um, so, so, so listen, I want to talk today. I want to talk today. Um, now a lot of people talk about the pandemic. We all know yeah. it's, it's, there's nothing new that I can say about it that, that, that nobody knows. Everybody know, everybody's watching the news and everybody's personally being affected by it in one way or the other, whether they lost their jobs God forbid their homes. Maybe they lost people, loved ones, friends. Um, or they got um, sick themselves. They got sick themselves. Um, uh, people who's, you know, you know what, what really bothered me? I know everything else was really, really sad and it's probably not the saddest. Um, but one of the things that kind of, kind of messed with me a little bit was so many of these kids that were graduating either high school or college and they couldn't have the proper ceremony you know what i mean i know it's silly compared to all the no, really of course, tragic of course it's not how can that be silly they've worked so well, hard i'm saying compare i'm saying yeah, compare to yeah i'm saying compared to you know what other people some people couldn't go to funerals we experienced yeah, you know, it that might be, it might be silly to some people but to that child who worked yeah. so hard and they yeah. weren't able to celebrate. Yeah, yeah. You see, like we had Erica's celebration like right before. 
like the, right. right was the year before the year before uh yeah so yeah 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 so she you know she, we got to go to her graduation ceremony which was beautiful then we were yes. able to to you know put together this really you know great celebration mm -hmm. for college and then it was slash the army because she was up in the air at that point um right. and and that was a good i was glad to and i could just put my like we if she would have been just a year younger we would have been caught up in that whole in that whole situation also it would have been right. it would have been really sad you know it would have been really right, sad it's like and i used to see, and i would watch commercials of these kids you know in their cap and gowns on their driveways and people driving by and honking their horns it was like wow yeah. you know okay they made the best of it but it was still it was really touching it really uh you know i, I yeah. looked at that a lot and kind of was one of the one of the many things that um that bugged me you know so you know i think i think it might be coming to mind with you right now because of the holidays Yep, yep. And then with the holidays, the holidays, uh, you know, you know, we we're pretty much the nucleus here. We, you know, everybody usually comes over to our house and we cook and well, you cook, <laughs> 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 and uh, you know, and we we yeah, you know, but we you're the hostess. Them. You are the hostess with the mostest. You're the best yeah. host I know. <laughs> yeah. So you know, then uh. You know, we, you know, we have the holidays here and I kind of feel, you know, I feel like I feel bad for other people. Like, I'm like, I feel like even though we have no control, I kind of feel like, like we kind of let them down. It's like, you know what I mean? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's, exactly. it's, it's really, it's, it's weird. It's weird, you know? So, you know, and that's one of the things. Then, we, you know, remember we have Titi Luli, who's what, 96? Yeah. How old is Titi? Yeah. 96, yeah. right? You yeah. know, it's like, you know. And she's doing great. She's healthy, but you know, it's just at this time, these twilight years, is like you want to spend every, time with her. every well, every celebration counts. Right. You know, back in the day, I see, like Erica. Erica's young. Erica's in Germany. Yeah, it's sad, but you know what? It doesn't bother me as much knowing that she's gonna miss Christmas with us and New Year. Come on, you know, we're right. used to having all those those occasions with her. You know, right. but but I know she's out there and. God willing, she has many more uh, holidays to come. But then we right. look at Titi Luli that, you know, and even us, you know, we don't know. We don't know, you know, so right. it gets, so it's a sad situation, you know. But, but, then you know I try, and, but then I try and look at the other side of it. And I try and count my blessings that we're able to spend the holidays with the babies. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 And with each other. And with each other. Right, right. Oh yeah, yeah. So you know, you there's know. people that are by themselves. They're not spending the holidays with anyone. So you know, yeah. if anybody out there, if you know anybody like that, you know, at least give them a call during the holidays. Uh, give them a call. Just to Maybe let you them got... know that. Just to let them know that you're thinking about them. Yeah, yeah. You guys you know, got. If you we can, got... if you can, they say that you can't spread the COVID through cooking. If you can, you know, drop them off some cookies. Drop them off, you know, some brownies. Just something some coquito if you have you know like anything just a little token just to let them know that you're thinking of them and you know they're not yeah. alone yeah plus we got things you know and I, you know i spoke about technology yesterday and we have oh, things no. like so one, more thing have things like... one more thing i want to bring up you know there are people who are very fortunate right now and they're able to buy their kids toys and have a wonderful holiday you know if you can you know i'm not i'm not pressing anybody to do it but if you can maybe you think about just donating a toy just to a child in need or maybe you know a child or you know someone that's struggling right now maybe you can buy a toy for their kid you know just put from santa and just send it to their house you know yeah. just a little bit counts you know there's people who have nothing to eat see if you could put a box together with just a little bit of food for them yeah. you never know you never know what what people need, you know. Yeah. There are people out there telling their kids right now there's no Santa Claus. Yeah, because they can't give them gifts. They can't they, provide for them. They have to tell them the truth, basically. That's you your know? truth. That's not my truth. But anyway. <laughs> no, well, what I'm saying is that you know they can't they can't keep the the fantasy <clears throat> going. They can't keep it going. Right. They have to. Right. They have to. You know, who wants to sit down? Really, you know, there's certain things we don't want to talk to our kids about us. It's just not that time. 
They're going to learn. There, there's going to come know, a time when they're going to figure out. Reach out to people you know. You never know who's struggling right now. Mm -hmm. You never know. And yeah. you know, don't, don't, and if you're struggling yourself, don't be embarrassed to reach out to somebody and say, hey, you know, I'm struggling. You know, anything you can help me with, you know, a yeah. can of, of, of vegetables, anything, some stuffing, anything, yeah. you know. You know, maybe yeah. you don't have money to buy them a turkey, but you might be able to buy them a chicken or anything, you know, just anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but what I was talking, talking about also, you know, um, we had, like I said yesterday, we have things like FaceTime and we have mm -hmm. video, mess video messenger, we have Zoom. And sometimes, you know, zooming in with people just for an hour or so and just kind of talking or, you know what I mean, is that's also that that's also cool, too, you know? That will that will kind of zap that loneliness out, and that's you know. And that was the, the topic yesterday, you know, freestyling for the last couple of days and, and, and social media, how important it is, and what a great time for it to to be here. You know what I mean? You know. So, right. but you know, I want to talk about with this topic here. You know, we are in the freestyle music genre. This is what we do. Our whole our whole life is wrapped around this. And, and it's also the, the life of not only people in the business, but also fans. You know, this has been, you know, this music has become our backdrop. It's it's our lives. When we hear certain songs, they bring up certain memories. And whether they're good or bad, sad, happy, whatever, they bring up memories because they were part of our life, you know? And right. a lot of us, you know, this is all we do. We don't do anything else. The majority of the freestyle artists this is what they do, as well as, you know, a lot of the promoters, some of the DJs. Um, this is our this is our life. And for those who it's not their life, it's also a supplemental income for some. It helps with the bills and it helps, you know, it helps certain certain things. As well as with the fans who really enjoy it. You know, we do these concerts and we do these shows, and these places are packed because these people love the music and they want to be out there and they want to go out. And they want to go out and, and see the shows. And um, I, I'm thinking now about all the years that you come on, and you know, because you and I have actually had, you know, a couple little disputes. You know, sometimes we would pack up for a show and I'll start with the huffing and puffing. And and, and it's not that I'm, I'm grateful. Sometimes I would catch myself and I would apologize and I would tell God, oh God, I, I don't, I didn't mean that. I, I apologize. I'm, oh, I was going to say, I was going to say, you didn't apologize to me. You apologize to God. No, oh, I, I apologize. I've, I've, apologized. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I've apologized to you too. I've apologized to you too, where, I, where I've told you that I'm, I'm sorry, you know, it's just that. And it, it's nothing about, it's not about um me not wanting to go on the road. Sometimes, you know, it's a little bit of a hassle you know, with the packing and then going through the airports. And, and yeah, I know and people say, you crazy, man. I would exactly. love to do that. How many people but, want to step into your shoes? Absolutely. No, but this is the I deal. I tell you that all the time. No, I, yeah, I know that. But this is Nobody the deal. Said, look but, at but your you, life. Look but, at your life. You have yeah. such a blessed life. Yeah. But, but check this out. But that's not what, that was never really the reason. You know what the reason was? We spoke I know about what the this. reason was. I know what, what the reason was. What? You're a brat. No. <laughs> You're a brat. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, usually. See, nobody talking. knows that about you. Nobody no. knows that about you. But listen, listen, normally I'm on a project. Normally I'm on this flow. It's almost like, it's almost like I'm on a wave and I'm surfing. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the wave stops. It's like, right. oh, come on, man. Or have you ever done like some running and then all of a sudden somebody say, hey, yo, drop something and you stop and it's just like your body wants to keep going. That's, that's wait a minute, the but wait a minute. That, 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 That's what I'm talking about. You're so blessed because you enjoy everything that you do. That is why sometimes you don't want to go on the road because you're working on a project at home. Right. And you're so into it that you don't want to leave it. Right. And it's so look like at that. Breaks. No, no, but wait, 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 wait. Look at how blessed you are. You got two different things that you could be doing right now that bring you joy. When right. there are so many people that don't even have one thing right. that can bring right. joy. No, and I'm, I'm aware of this. <laughs> I'm aware of this. But where I'm getting at is that look at what happened. Like, so, and you know, and, and sometimes, like, if we have a show for the weekend, we don't get ready on Friday because we're usually leaving. That means on right. Thursday, we got we to get ready. And then when we come back, we come back on a Sunday night 
And even though I'm still going to get up Monday morning and start to work, a lot of times it'll take me the whole day just to kind of pick up from where I left off. And then when we're on the road every single week, it's almost like I have three days to do the stuff that takes me, you know, 18 hours a day to work on, you know, and it just, it's a bit of disruption. I found myself being, you know, ungrateful and I've caught myself being- No, you're not uh, ungrateful. You're not ungrateful. Yeah, I was only playing when I said that. You're not ungrateful. You're not a brat. What it is, is, what it is, is that you enjoy what you do so much that you want more time. You want more time during the week to finish what you're doing during the week. Right, right. To go on the weekends and have a great but time. Once, but once we're just on isn't the enough road, time. There yeah, isn't enough time. Once we're on the road, you know, I'm, I'm having a great time. I'm fortunate to be able to travel with you. So, you know, we do a lot together and we get to see the country, We, you know, together. And um, so so I'm, I'm fortunate. But now look at this. This is what I'm trying to say. Suddenly, we get hit with this pandemic, right? We get hit right. with this pandemic. Now, now, we can step back a little bit before that. We spoke about this yesterday. Where you, and I remember this clearly. I made it, I remember this clearly. We just spoke about this is the last, what, that last time we did the show. What we did? Two or three shows in one night, one weekend. We did Houston and, and um, Austin. Austin, right. All right. And then the Austin, Austin one is the, the one that, show. the Austin was the one that Caroline got sick. So it was just yeah. you and Sunshine, right? Yes. And yes. I remember what, what it was that you said. What was it that you said? I said that this could be my last show. You never know. I remember this. This could be our last show. You know, No, not, not my last show, because that wasn't going to be my last show. You never know if it was going to be our last show. Because right. remember, we're a group. You never know what could happen with a group. Right. Right. And, and it's so crazy because... You know, like always, I shrug my shoulders. Yeah, okay, whatever. All right, let's do the show. Let's go home. Let's do what we got to do. And coincidentally, that was our last show. Yeah. Okay, so and now... And I was very emotional. I was I was very emotional that right. night. Yeah, I remember. There was a lot going on. Um, that was my mother's birthday, remember? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking of my mother. I was missing my mother. May she rest in peace. Yeah. Uh, Caroline got sick. Yeah. I couldn't help. Her. You know, no matter what I did, I couldn't help her. Right. You know, I didn't know how the crowd was going to feel. Yeah. About just me and Sunshine performing. Right. But they were so gracious and so loving. Yeah, they were. And so receptive. Well, well the us. thing is that you went out there and you explained to them. You told mm -hmm. them. You was very open and, and, and honest. And they Transparent. accepted that. And mm -hmm. and they accepted that, and they were they were very gracious about that. Um, right. And then we and then we come home, right? So and then that's it. You know, the pandemic hits, and now nobody knows how long this is going to last. Nobody knows how long this is going to last. You know, we you know as far right. as we're concerned, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's going to be a few weeks, whatever. And you know me, if I know I have a few weeks off from the road, I'm I'm honestly I'm like okay, cool. I can do this, this, this. I'm going to get this shit done and da, da, da. Right. You know what I mean? Right. But then a few weeks turns into a couple months. Right. And then it continues to drag on. Right. And now I'm at the point where I'm like, oh, man. You know? And, and yeah, money situation is always, that's always going to be a concern. Because right. our, bread and, our bread and butter is made, our bread and butter is made by us going on the road, you performing. My other bread and butter is basically booking other people to be on the road performing. And we, at this point, can't do either one. So now we're basically living off of reserves. It's what we made for the last few years and what we've saved up and how we've been able to really, you know, get ourselves together. Now we have to rely on that. And not only for us, but for others. We have another family that we practically take care of. Right. You know? Well, family, so, family members that we help with, you know? Right, right. So, so, you know, so now, so now at, at, I have to step out here because somebody's outside uh, cutting the edges. Like yeah, right by the cutting house. grass. Yeah. 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 So they're really annoying me. Yeah. So anyway, um, so now we're, 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 you know, we're, we're months in, we're months in, uh, in this pandemic. And I'm now at this point, I'm starting to get phone calls from artists and artists right. are asking me, Hey, What's up? Right. Is there anything happening? 
Now I know that they're feeling it. I knew some of those artists that were feeling it before the pandemic. So I can only imagine what they were going through now. You know? Yeah. So now, you know, now we're now we're now they're giving us a call, they're calling us up and they're like, what's up? And and all I could tell them is like, everything's dead. You know? Promoters yeah. promoters at this point don't know what to do. They don't they don't know how to they don't they don't they have no they have no idea. They don't want to take that kind of risk. They don't right. want to take a risk, you know? Right. So now the whole genre ends up in a situation that I've always thought about. And I've spoken about in my videos and I've spoken about them in blogs and posts. I said, what happens when? Right. What happens when we get to the end of this road? Mm -hmm. What are we gonna do? Because there's a lot of us that are very limited in what we do. This is all we do. Absolutely. Now what? Now what? You know? And then what happens is we start seeing people trying to do the lives. Yeah. Now, we haven't done them yet. We haven't done them. But I was not against them. Right. I, th I thought they were really good situation. I thought they were a great idea. You know, right. and I saw now suddenly I'm seeing the shift, not only in freestyle, but in the whole music business, you know, right. it's like, right. okay, is this the new way? Is this is, is this the way it's going to be, it's going to be done from now on, you know? Mm -hmm. So, you know, so, so I'm looking at how it's affecting or how it's affected our genre. Now, some of the other artists, they're figuring things out. You know, some of them are, are living good enough where they could take a few years off. Right. A lot of the people in our industry cannot. Right. They cannot. Things are going to get really rough. And, you know, we see a lot of them out there. They're still they're smiling. They're doing this. They're trying to do what they can. But it's rough at this point. Right. You right. know? And, and you know, what I want to ask the listeners something, you know, in the meantime, in between us talking, I want to ask the listeners if anybody's seen anything whether you're a fan or you're in the business itself are you seeing a shift do you what do you notice differently now during the pandemic among our industry that probably didn't exist before so if anybody can uh answer that question i would i would really like to uh i would really like to know you know so we got so much noise going on over here it's yeah 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 Excuse me, guys. Um, yeah, so if anybody can answer that, that's uh, that would be cool. I'm over here trying to uh, find a, a quiet spot. <laughs> yeah. So go in the kids' room. I was. That's where the that's noise. That's over the other side of the house. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, but um, but yeah. So anyway, but that's. You know, and then I want to know, is there a bright side? Was there a bright side here at all? You know? Um, With, where's know. the bright side? You know? Um, I guess I mean, people the, are more aware. People are more aware of what's going on in their lives. Like, you know, more aware of what could happen. Right. You know how we go day to day and we never think about what possibly could happen? That could yeah. stop us from working, stop us from from um, being with our loved ones. You know, right. this was a reality check. That's what this right. was. This right. was a big reality check for everybody. Do you think? Do you think that when everything gets back in order, when everything gets back in order, do you think people are going to forget about this? Do you think people are going to just assume business as as normal, resume oh, business I as never. I never think that people will forget about this. Really? Especially people like me. I will never forget about this because I will always in the back of my mind say, I got to write this down. Should I have a mask on? I don't know if this person is sick next to me. You know what I'm saying? Like it's yeah. always going to be in the back of my mind. But okay, but that, yeah, and that I agree. I think we're always going to be reluctant to shake or, hands. Or that, the, or that this could end anytime. And, right. and I won't be able to do shows again. And I won't be able to work. And I won't be able to see my fans. And I won't, be, you know. Now, a lot of people were going out. Now, this is the cool thing. Now, you have a lot of people that are going and they're having the time to really trying to invent themselves. And you're seeing this with a lot of artists. 
you know, and you got to you got to give it to them. And, you know, sometimes I try to go on like some of them go live. I try to go on and I try to you know support or sometimes I'll miss it. Or I'll catch the replay or whatever the case may be. Yeah. But right. there's something about there's something about that that I really appreciate and that it, it excites me. Right. You know, I love I love the idea of some of these artists going out there and just scratching their head and saying, you know what? I'm gonna try to do this. Mm-hmm. We're gonna do, I'm gonna do a live from my living room, or I'm gonna start a podcast, or I'm gonna do an interview. A uh, Brenda's doing a Christmas spectacular. I don't have all the information. How but, um, awesome is that? Yeah, see, and that's that's but well, you see, Brenda's always been like that. Brenda's she's been an always, innovator. She's always yeah, been an innovator. Yeah, and trying always, something new. Yeah, she's always going out there, she's trying new stuff, and I always try to support her and the kids whenever I can. Absolutely. Um, but but um but I think it's great, you know? I think that's great. And I think, you know, and, and you know, this is what we, you know, we need to use, you know, use her as an example and use, right. because again, we don't know if this can ever happen again. Not only that, is this might end up being just the way of life from now on. Right. Look at school. Like mm-hmm. if we mastered teaching these kids through a computer, why would we ever send them to school ever? Because we're trying to get them out the house, boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that the world might not end up, might not agree. The might the, the the world might be like, hey, they're your kids. You had them. You deal with them. But now we don't have to. We don't have to have this building. We don't right. have to hire this staff. Right. You know. He goes to curriculum. You teach them. Right. You know. Right. So like, what's What's the chances of of now when the when the freestyle when when the market opens up and we're all working and we're back on the road and we're doing these shows? Mm-hmm. What what will what will keep people from still wanting to say, "Hey, man, I'll pay you this amount for a live show on stage, but I'll pay you this amount if you can just do it online." Mm-hmm. It's you, your choice. Right. I feel that every concept from this point on, people are going to start streaming because they right. figured it out. They right. figured it out. You know? Right. Like pay-per-view. Be, yeah. Yeah. And I think it's I, can, I think it's incredible. It's great for Me the too. promoters. Right. I think it's great for promoters. And there's so and many people. And those people who really can't get out to these concerts. Or don't want to go out. I would love to see the performances. Right. Right. I think that will open up. And, and my advice will always be to tell the promoters, stream everything now you know what's gonna right. happen right there's right. gonna become there's gonna become a streaming fee that's gonna right. end up becoming promoters are gonna end up negotiating that with the artists the artists are gonna you know catch on to it and say okay that's cool my this is my price right um but if you're gonna stream me i need another 25 percent of my fee right you know i can see that happen is that good yeah for everybody I think it's still good for the promoter because the right. promoter can now charge um, a pay-per-view fee, like you said, right. for those who don't want to go out. The artists right. can make a little bit more money. The fans now have a choice. They right. can go out or they don't have to go out. If you go out, you get to see it in live action. If you don't go out, you get to see it live, but on your TV or on your computer. Right. So these are some of the bright sides that I see that's happening. Also, a lot of people are coming up with things like, you know, merchandise and people opening up stores. Mm-hmm. People are getting very creative. Creative. Some, pe- some, say that. Some, pe- some people are writing books. Like you. Yeah. You know, people are filming stuff. Right. You know, so, you know, so, and this is how, I think this is how the world evolves anyway. I think, you know, yeah. the world changes due to circumstances when something yeah. happens now suddenly it's like okay well we can't we can't do that anymore you know but this definitely changed the game in the in the entertainment industry definitely yeah 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 i you know i think so i think so and, and yeah. you know what it does also it opens up you know for those people who are interested in breaking into the business mm-hmm. it's almost like it's an in infancy think about if you were able to catch hip-hop in the beginning 
Right. Let's say nobody ever designed any hip hop clothes, or nobody ever designed a cologne, or nobody ever did a movie, or nobody ever did a TV show based on you know hip hop. Okay, that's the emphasis. Everybody's oh man, I wish I was man, I wish I would thought about it when it first started. Hey, right. we have that opportunity now. Right, absolutely. I agree. That opportunity agree. exists right now. Yeah. But people have to really You don't, you don't have to be the first, you don't have to be the first at something. But try no. and be the best at whatever you do. That's all. Yeah, there's there's this, you know, what people have to realize is stop just looking at this as a music. They got to realize it's a culture and that the people involved are human beings and human beings like things. Human right. beings like to, they like to buy things. They wear clothes. <laughs> they wear Have clothes. that shiny object come. Yeah, yeah, Order exactly. from Amazon. Yeah, yeah, you know, and, and, and there's such a huge order. People say, well, it's not that big. What? What? It's mm -hmm. huge. Right. It's huge. It's all mm -hmm. over. Listen, if we could go to Miami and pack in 14,000 people, okay, 14,000 freestyle fans that are paying a premium for a ticket, 80, 100, something dollars. Mm -hmm. well, how many people didn't attend that show that mm -hmm. are fans? You know? So, and that's just one city. I'm only talking about one city. If I dealt with Florida, you know, we, we got Miami. We have, right. we have Fort Lauderdale. We have Tampa, Tampa Orlando, Panama mm -hmm. City. I mean, all up and down, West Palm Beach. Right. You know? So just in that one state, you know, you have all these individual cities with huge freestyle fan bases, you know? And I've been trying to tell people this forever. I would love to say, you know, some people, you know, you can't worry about, oh, people are gonna think this is corny or nobody's gonna support it. So what? Do it, if you do it good enough, they're gonna have no choice but to support it. Or, or you can keep trying to do new things and something's gotta hit eventually. Right, right. right? Hey, Even any, if you, any, you anybody, did, doesn't hit so what? Try yeah, something anybody else. Who's, anybody who's interested in chiming in, who has any ideas, who, maybe sees something that we're seeing or maybe something we don't see, uh, please definitely chime in because... Uh, all, all, um, all you have to do is hit, hold the microphone down on the bottom and yeah. leave us a message. And we can play the message right now live yeah. and answer your questions. Hold the yeah. microphone down on the bottom. Hold your finger on it. And we'll play the message. What? Right, you hold, hold, yeah, hold you, put your finger on the microphone, hold it down, speak, say, I think you get, they give you like up to 30 seconds to speak or whatever, then let it go. And then it goes into a queue and it will play, we'll play it back. It'll go in order. We have no control of who goes first. So if you know, it doesn't go first, that's only because somebody else left a message before you. So, um, but you know, we want to definitely use this platform uh, for constructive criticism. Me and Angel only know what we know. We don't claim to know it all, but we can give you a really good feel from what we see. You know, you have an agent manager and you have an artist. You have two people on both sides of that table. We take we take it from different angles. We see yes. it from different angles. Yeah. So we really want, you know, we, we really want, now not everybody's going to ask questions. I understand. Just listen in, enjoy it, um, share it, of course, and always follow us, please. Um, but, Make sure you subscribe to the show. So you know every time the show is coming up, you'll get a notification that the show is coming up, okay? Right. So make sure you subscribe. Yeah. But um uh but yeah, but we want to get people we want to get people involved because uh we're going to continue to do this and when we get into the new year, uh we're going to sit back and we're going to figure out, you know, we're going to see, you know, are we going to work on, on the same is it going to be the same system? Are we going to make any changes? Are we going to keep it daily? Are we going to Shorten it, whatever the case may be, is good. We're gonna make it less days, more hours. We don't know. Right now we're doing, and we're doing we'll more. We'll also be doing, we'll also be doing a lot more under the umbrella of where Freestyle lives. Yeah. So keep looking out for hashtag where Freestyle lives. Yeah. Yeah, we have Has another po podcast that we're working on for January, which is gonna be in line with this one. So and it'll that be a live be podcast, so you'll be able to see us. Well, not yeah. a live podcast. It'll be recorded, but be, you'll, you'll be able video. to see it. Yo, it'll be video. It'll be video. Thank you. <laughs> it'll be video. Yeah. But, you know, what we're, what we're trying to do, you know, and I want people to realize, if again, if you have interest in this genre in any capacity, um, let us know. Let us know because sometimes we could direct you 
or you know I, I'm you know there's there's a lot of opportunities here there's very few of everything you know and don't forget about forget about the artists that are already here what our goal is is to try to make the genre interesting enough to get in a new audience to get new artists to find to get new interest to come on board that's how we're going to be able to expand this guys this is this this genre could be very lucrative this is what we do for over 30 years this is all we do every stitch of clothing every morsel of food every gift under that tree was paid for with freestyle money so anybody who says oh there's no money in that it's chump change it is not. It is not Trump change, and there's plenty of be around. Now, there's going to be a lot of people that are not going to be down to tell you that because they don't look at it the same way as we do. They look at it as competition. We do not. We look at it as an asset. Bringing more people on board to us feels like, you know, we believe that it will stem more, more interest. It will grow the freestyle market. It will grow the freestyle market. Right, right. So, you know, we definitely want to, you know, anybody who has any interest in the music business and if you have if it's not freestyle let's say it's hip hop it's, these hip hop and freestyle run parallel they run parallel even though you know hip hop has a much broader uh, base we also do I do I do book a lot of hip hop as well um, so I it, it's very similar so anybody who has any interest of even jumping into the hip hop uh, realm la later on can you know can always start with freestyle you know we don't have a problem and there's no strings attached we're not asking you to donate or give us anything we have a, a sincere interest in trying to build this genre and we cannot do it alone so we're creating platforms like here on stereo to try to build interest and it's not going to be easy it's going to take a lot of work on our part and it's going to take a lot of work on people who see what we're trying to do and can share the information that we're trying to give out and realize that there is no strings attached so I hope that, you know, people really tune into that. So, but, uh, but anyway. <laughs> you made some so, great points there. You really yeah. made some great points there. Good, good. You know, because so, that's what people worry about a lot. They worry about, you know, are you trying to get something out of this? Yeah. Well, what's your angle? What's yeah, your my angle? Is, my angle is I want to keep, I want to keep working. I want to keep doing it. Right, and, absolutely. And absolutely. If, if I'm the only manager, AJ, and you're the only artist, it's not going to work. Right. It's gonna it's gonna fall apart. And right. I, I don't want I don't want to get a real job. Right. I don't, <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want a real job. <laughs> I don't know how to do anything else. No, absolutely not. You're a creator. You're a creator. Yeah, I, I, creator. I don't I won't know. I, 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 any job that put me on, I'll get fired. I'll get fired. <laughs> you want to know why, right? Because you're gonna think you're the boss. I'm gonna think I'm the boss. I'll be real. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think I'm the boss. So you go yeah, in there and say, yeah, yeah, the system doesn't work. I don't know why you have the system. <laughs> yeah, I'll go in there. They'll be like, yo, why did you why did you move the produce aisle over to the toy aisle? I'm like, well, let me explain. <laughs> <laughs> I think they can eat fruit while they're looking through the toys. Hey, so listen, let me ask you this, okay? Again, <laughs> we're in the pandemic right now. Mm -hmm. And you have your first show, New Year's Eve, which is also your birthday. Yeah. When I presented that show to you, what did you think? What what, what was your immediate thought? Well, you know, I had I, I I have been hesitant to do any shows, but I was really happy the way they set this show up. They're making sure everyone's safe, not just the artists, but the fans. So that was a good thing. And I just felt like, come on, man. Something got to give. This is the this is the new year. Let's bring in the new year the right way. I like to bring in the new year the way I want my year to be. I always tell you that. Yeah. Happy, healthy. Yeah. You know, and productive. So for those so, who live in, give us a little bit of information about the show. We'll give it a little, a little plug right now. Um, um, it's going to be in Chicago. You can go to Julian Jumper Perez. Julian Jumper Perez's page, you'll see everything. Go on lot Latif Mercado's page, you'll see everything. Uh, you see all the information for the show. It's a drive-in show, so everybody's very safe. You're in your own car. Yeah. So if you're cold, you can sit in your car and warm up and then come out for the performance and go back in, in between performances. So, I mean, the rest of us are going to freeze, but... 
<laughs> I'm yeah, excited so, because you know I do I love Chicago. They have the they have the most incredible fans. They really yeah, it's, a, it's at the Seat Geek Theater. It's actually not Chicago, it's Bridgeview, which I believe isn't far from Chicago. I think it's the same community. Uh mm-hmm. Bridgeview, uh Stevie B, Angel, um David Torres, um Bad Boy Bill, um um I forgot who else. It's quite a quite a few uh quite a few yeah. acts there. A lot of Chicago. Yeah. A lot yeah. of Chicago in the house. It's gonna you know, be nice. So. It's gonna be a really great night. And let's bring in the new year the way we want our year to be. Yeah, yeah. Hold, hold on, we got a message. Hold on one second. Okay. Can you tell me if fireflies start fires fires? They don't. <laughs> They don't. How do you and, know? And they because I've never I've never seen one. I've 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 grabbed one and I've held them and they didn't even burn me. No so fire I came out. So I no no fire came out. But that was a good question. Maybe they like uh, you. Huh? Maybe they like you. That's why no fire came out. Maybe if they don't like you, fire comes out. <laughs> hey, I think so every me... question is important. So yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I want to get to the root of it, especially, especially <laughs> from that, especially from that Joker there. Yeah, we answer, yeah. We answer all his questions. Yeah, <laughs> but hey, um, but let me ask you this. So, we, all right, so we're gonna go now. What's got another question, now, babe? All right, hold on one second. Hold on. Hey, Latif, my concern is with the driving the event that if everybody's gonna be cold, they're gonna be sitting in the cars with the heat on, warming it up. That's too many. That's too much fumes, man. I know. I hate to see the cover girls get sick while they're performing. Just you know, a little concern. Well, um, this won't be a cover girl show. This will be an angel show, and everybody knows I'm a beast. I can handle anything. <laughs> yeah, hey Tommy, that's a good question. But let me. Fast they're warm. Yeah, yeah. So that that's a that's an interesting question. Um, I think they do have. Uh, I think there is stipulations as far as keeping. The car on, if I remember correctly, uh, I don't think that they're or or I don't. I think there's an issue. They they handle that somehow. It is also outdoors, and the cars are pretty spread apart. Oh yeah, and the cars are spread apart, definitely. They're spread apart, and and um and I think they're more than six feet apart from each other. Um, people do come outside, so a lot of people won't even be having their cars running. Yeah, a lot uh, of people be, don't stay in their cars. They'll they'll be outside of their cars. They're not gonna have they're not gonna heat have the heat on while the sh- we've seen pictures and we've seen videos because I was I was thinking about that also. Uh, but the people come outside and they're basically in front of their their cars and they supposedly they they honk that's their applause. But that's what I heard. But I heard they also <laughs> they also applause. But um, it's also it's outdoors like I said. Um, and uh, and I haven't had I have I've I know a few people have done have who have done these and uh. Nobody ever brought that up, but that's a that's a good thought. I never even gave yeah, it any thought. Question. I'll good definitely question. be checking. Yeah, I'll definitely be checking that out. And uh, thanks yeah. for your concern. But um, so I'm thinking, you know, like I mentioned, you know, my my whole thing right now is um, my my main concern is getting on the airplane. Mm-hmm. I think that's what's bugging me. I'm not worried about when we get off the plane. We're going straight to the hotel, which is in the airport. And then uh, from there, they're picking us up to go to the venue, do the show. There's no meet and greet. Um, mm-hmm. We'll bring pictures. They could give out pictures. Um, maybe you could sign some. I don't know. We'll figure that one out. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, um, if anything, maybe I could sign them. Um, you'll have to sign them at the, the hotel. Show, ahead of the show. And just yeah, because they're only out. they're only doing they're only doing like I think 100 or 200 cards. Well, I could sign 200 and they can give one to each car. That's it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm thinking. So we'll, I think we'll do that. I think that'll be a good move. You yeah. Know? Maybe, maybe I'll bring some little gifts for some lucky people that are there. Cause you well, know how I like to bring out gifts. Well, 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 well I don't want to say what they are. Yeah. Well, you got to realize, I don't know. I can't say that cause I don't know what the protocol they might not. They I might. might I might. I might see if we. I, well, let me speak to. And remember, speak you'll have to, to give. You. You'll have to give the promoter the gifts, which means that we. Well, there's no guarantee. They won't. Anybody's won't get them. So you got to think, <laughs> think about. Oh yeah. snap, Julian! You heard what he said. You go keep the gift. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on what it is. But uh. Ah, so we yeah, got a question. Yeah. 
But that, that's the, yeah. Hey Latif, here's an idea. Take some of your shirts from the Style and Free uh, website and bring them with you and just shoot them out to the audience or throw some out there. It's just a thought or just an idea. <laughs> that's a good one. You know, we used to bring shirts out and um, we used to bring a lot of merch, uh, um, Tommy. But it got to a point though, man, where it was like a real hassle to carry that stuff because of our bags. We don't, we don't check our bags. We bring them on the plane with us. So we're very limited with space. They won't let, allow us to bring any extra stuff. So uh, what we do is we have a lot of that stuff available online and people purchasing uh, purchase them. Sometimes also the promoters might buy some ahead of time and I'll give it to them at cost, which means I won't make any money from it. Uh, they'll contact me and they'll buy, you know, a hundred pieces at what I pay for them. So that way I'm not making no money and they're buying them. And then what we'll do when they get over there, they can make their money and, um, We'll also sign them, you know? Same thing with the books, too. If they come and they they want to buy, like, 100 books, I could get it to them at cost. So I, I make no profit on them. Um, and it's cool. And it benefits me. It benefits me still in the long run as an author. But, um, but it's a, yeah, it's a good... It's it's cool idea. But, man, it sounds cool. It sounds cool when you talk about it. But when you have to literally go and, and do it, man, it's it could be a hassle. So, yeah, right. but, yeah. but we'll, we'll still think about it though. Thanks for, thanks for that. Thanks for that tip there. You know, so, but we're gonna um, uh, but yeah. So you know, so, so this this is the whole thing. Then now, babe, you listen mostly you to the news. What do, what are you what are you saying? Like I don't know what's going on. I'm like I it it kind of depresses me. Well, what do you I think mean, I was, worried about, do you I was th worried about the government shutdown. Okay. I was worried about the government shutdown. I'm, I'm so worried about the people that are losing their homes, the people who can't pay their electricity, the people who don't have any food. And it's like, they have to get this stimulus going. Yeah. They, ha I can't believe that they still haven't gotten this stimulus going. So Dude. many people are suffering right now. And then, you know, it's even worse, not just the people, the children are suffering. How yeah. can they look at these children in the face or, or, or just know that these children are suffering like this? Yeah, yeah. No, not enough to eat. Do no you see you know, it? Let me tell you something. It's cold in some places, and they have no electricity. Yeah, yeah. They can't even keep warm. Yes. You know, yes. it's just sad. so sad. And with yes. the holidays coming, how can you, how can you go home to you? You know, how can how can these politicians go home to their warm homes with their food and their families safe? Just knowing yeah. that there's so many children suffering and so many people suffering. And, you know, let me tell you something. The homeless population is freaking crazy right now. Yeah. Crazy. And they're yeah. not doing anything to alleviate it. You know, I, I, you know, I can't turn away from it. People are like, oh, I can't watch the news anymore. It depresses me. And <clears throat> I just can't turn away from it. Yeah, if, I think if you weren't watching it, I would I would be compelled because I would feel the same way. I would have to at least watch it, if nothing else, and and at least be. I don't. I wouldn't want to turn turn my head towards it. But I know you watch it, and I know you keep me updated on what's so going all on. All I do, all I do, is pray for these babies. You know, yeah. I pray that every baby has a warm bed to sleep in, has a plate of food. You know, yeah, at least yeah. one present, man. Can they just have at least one Christmas gift? Just yeah. one. You know, yeah. that's why I said, if you know somebody that's having a hard time, if you can, you know, if you can, just send a little bit of food. Send send one little gift. You know, you think you think it doesn't matter, you know, but it really does. That one little pot of rice and beans that you send, you know? Why got to be rice and beans? That so they're not going to starve tonight. Yeah. I hear you. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're 100%. And I know everybody else is not doing great. I know everybody's not doing great. But you know what? If you're one of the lucky ones that at least has a few groceries in your house, you can spare a pot of rice and beans. Mix it together to make it bigger. But, you know, just you could spare that. You could spare some pasta and some sauce. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just, you don't have to put meat just put any of that. Just that little bit can mean mm. so much to a family that has nothing. You know? Yeah. I mean, do you see this going on? Do you think we're gonna? You think it's gonna go, go into the new year? And if so, how long <laughs> you think it's gonna go in? 
you know, I've been trying to track it by the last pandemic that was a hundred years ago. But what's crazy is with while even having the technology, it looks like that one is gonna that one ended before this one's gonna end. And yeah. I think it has to do with people being know it alls. They don't think they have to wear mask. You know? Mm -hmm. But they don't realize, you know, you forget about the other people. You don't give a shit about adults. Okay, don't give a shit about them. Worry about the baby that catch it. You know? And don't tell me, oh well, babies survive from it. Okay, okay. Let's say that babies survive from it. It's such a horrible, horrible thing to have. Do you want a baby to go through that? Do you want a baby not be able to breathe? You know? To be yeah. that it's just insane to me. It's insane. So, I mean, but do you think we're gonna go? I mean, what do you what do you think? I mean, you you I mean, me what personally? You... Me personally? No, I, I don't think it's gonna pass the spring. I think I think it's gonna by spring what's gonna be good. Damn, spring. So shoot. So the rest of the only winter, because think... only because they have the vaccines right now and they, they're going full throttle with the with the vaccine. Yeah. And that's a whole you know, that's other topic. <laughs> that's a whole and other people topic. People are tired. People are tired. They don't want to stay home. Yeah. So yeah, I see that. I see no. that happening now. I see that happening. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I got to that. I got to the end of this one. How many shows did we turn down? I didn't want to go yeah. anywhere. Yeah. I was like, no, yeah. no. And then, then we got to the last, you know, and I, I thought about New Year's. I thought about your birthday. I thought about the fact that we were going to Chicago. It's not that far. You know, right. so there was quite a few. I saw the way they were handling it over there. I said, okay, mm -hmm. you know what? Maybe we could do this one. And maybe we could bring in the new year on an up note, you know, mm -hmm. with this. And hopefully when we come home, that we're basically at the tail end of this mess. And everything could, you know, I don't think anything's ever going to be the same the way it was. But at least that threat. Right. That yeah, threat, I don't you either. Know, yeah. You know, it, it, you know, it sucks. It sucks, you know. And and you know and and you know I, I I do feel for my community as far as with the freestyle with the with the artists and the producer I do you know I do feel for them. I know a few of them that are going through some serious times right now. Mm. They still post. They smile on their post. And yeah. That's that's the scary part. There's a lot of people smiling online. They're smiling right. online, only online. Oh. You know, and uh, you know, you know, we never thought ever. You know, and then we thought, okay, most of us in the freestyle genre, we're in our fifties. Ah, man, we, we got, we got, we got at least a good 10, 15 years. We're good. And then this happens, right? You know, it's like wow. You know, people talk about, yeah, the music industry is in the garbage. Yes, the freestyle industry is in the bottom of the garbage. Mm -hmm. Like, like it's it's rough for a lot of people. You'll see but it doesn't handful. have to be. It doesn't yeah, have to be. Right. You'll see a handful that are working. But it's not enough. It's in, these are acts that are used to working every week, or at least a couple times a month. Now they're right. going out sparingly every three, four months. And um, you know, but what we need to do, you know, with this community, because this this is, you know, we talk about freestyle because this is what we do. There's plenty of to topics on the pandemic and on the coronavirus everywhere online. We want to kind of give it a little bit more of a niche and really kind of tone it down into our genre of music and what we do and how it how it affects us because it, it affects us and this is what we know you know and um you know anyone who's out there like i said who has ideas or you want to put businesses together now's the time this is a great time to really think about it and it's easier than ever before you know think about it you know and even when the pandemic is over um this could be a really really step up for the genre as a whole. There should be clothing lines out there. There should be colognes out there and perfumes out there. There should be, you know, electronic brands out there. There's there's people to buy this stuff, a lot of people. Some of our, our promoters are very rich, very rich, you know? And they've, mm -hmm. they've, they've been making their money on freestyle because they know they, they figured it out, you know? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I want, I want people to, uh, to really look into that, you know, that's my my main objective as as a person in the community. You know, right. What do you think? I think it's great. I think it's great that you're you're reaching out and you know you're you're, you're extending I've always, you're I've extending always... an olive branch to them. Yeah. To actually try and help them. Yeah, it's just I I see it as an opportunity. 
at this but, point. Yeah, I'm but, like, but you've started other businesses. Yeah, I have, but, but that this one's successful. What I'm you've saying written is like, books. You've written books that have been successful. Like you've right. done these things. So right. if it's anybody they should reach out to, it should be you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and the thing is, uh, you know, like when, see, and the reason why I'm bringing this up now is because when everything's back in order, we're all going to be moving. We're going to be, life is going to pick up speed again. We're not going right. to think about this. We're not going to think about this. And, and things are going to get in our way and there's going to be distractions and there's going to be other things that excite us. Right now is a great time to really sit down mm -hmm. and figure this out. Think about for the next five, 10 years. If you're an artist, honestly, be an artist. But you got to look at some other areas and keep it underneath the umbrella so we can maintain the legacy of the genre. Right. You know, do other things. You guys want to write books? I'll tell you what I know. I'm not going to write your book for you. I've had a few people come to me and help me write a book. No, I'm not going to help you write your book. Um, but I'll tell you everything I know, mm -hmm. but you got to write it. Don't waste my time. Right. Right. <laughs> you right, know, right. set I up agree. a store. You want to set up a store online? I'll show you how to do that. I'll tell you right. where you have to go. You have to do some research. You got to do your own. I'm not going to, you know, I can't, it's a lot of work. So you have to, and anybody who. What I'm saying, I'm saying you can point them in the right direction. Yeah. You can help them yeah. put a game plan together. Yeah. This could benefit all of us, man. Right. If one person puts out a product that's like just blows up, it can really give some significance to the genre. It can really right. do a lot. Right. Remember when I put out the cologne? Right. That was a big investment. It was a $23,000 investment. Freestyle by La. You guys never heard of it. Look it up. Um, you know, $23,000 investment. Um, I didn't do it because I was just trying. I was trying to make freestyle, try to put freestyle on that map. You know, because I was a huge fan of hip hop colognes. I was getting the Jean John. I was getting the, the Usher and I was getting some of the other, you know, colognes that, you know, the hip hoppers were putting out and um, or more of the urban brands, you know, um, you know, and and um, and I saw what that was doing and that was becoming a big deal. And I said, well, why can't we do that? And nobody wanted to do it. So I went out and I, I did it. You know, I remember going to Angel and saying, hey, I, I want to I want to put this out, but this is how much it's going to cost. And what did you say? Let's do it. Let's do it. And we did it. And we put you it know, out listen, there. I'm all about taking chances. You know me. Yeah. And we put it out let's there. Do, we, we, let's do the pros and the cons. And, and if it's, we feel like there's enough pros, let's take a chance. Yeah. And, and you know, sometimes we don't know. I, I, I You know, sometimes... Sometimes we don't know the pros and the cons, you know, sometimes we, yeah. you know, sometimes it, we can't have a plan B. Sometimes plan B's kind of make us lazy. Sometimes, sometimes you got to wait. Yeah, sometimes you have to go with the plan A and just say, hey, you know what? I, I don't want a plan to fail. I don't want a plan B is a plan to fail. I don't want a plan B. Listen, I lose a I lot, never guys. thought about it like that, but I, I lose, I lose, I lose a lot. I, I'd spend you know, years investing time, money, energy, my own peace of mind, time with my family, with my wife, my kids, grandkids, you know, friends to, you know, because I'm working on stuff and I'm working on stuff and everything I do is tied to the genre. And trust me, I've had people tell me, why, why do you do that? Because I see in this something that other people don't see. And I don't know if I can. You see the potential in it. It's not even the potential. I have this appreciation for the culture. You got to wow. realize what hip hop was to the urban youth, to the black urban youth. Think about what it was. It was their way of dreaming. That it wasn't. It wasn't about sports anymore. A kid didn't right. have to go on the courts and and, and shoot balls to get out of the ghettos. They right. can now pick up a microphone and get out and picking up a microphone was a hell of a lot easier than picking, going to the court and shooting, you know, a thousand shots, you know, and right. then, you know, to play in the team. Now we can stand in front of the mirror and they could rap or they could write, they could sing. And it, it gave them an opportunity, it gave them, you know, something to get out of the ghettos. And I feel that freestyle was our hip hop. I'm right. a little, huge hip hop fan. I love hip hop. But and that's cool. That's beautiful. But I also have a huge appreciation for our genre and not, not 
particularly the music. I don't have a collection of freestyle records here. That has nothing to do with it. But I have appreciation, appreciation for the artists and what they did for us as a Latino community. Think about what they did. Think about the Lisa Lisas, the cover girls. You know what? I, I don't think I don't think they even realize. I don't think they realize what they've it done. They, you know, and sometimes I have a, a really hard time articulating what I feel. I have a hard right. time, you know. And you and know right. what? I look at the, I, I look gonna... Lisa Lisas. I look at the Sapphires. Yeah. I look at the Stevie Bs. Right. You know. I, I look at the that, artists know yeah. what they've contributed. Right. And and the thing is, we're not going to really realize this. You know when we're going to realize it? When the shit is over and we're sitting. This is how I always visualize this shit. Check this out. Sitting yeah. on my couch. I'm 89 years old if I make it that long. I'm watching TV. And they do a movie about freestyle that's totally inaccurate. Right. That, that has that shit was not how it happened. You know why? Right. Because it had ended so many years prior and it never made such a significant, a broad significance that people had to come up and they had to reinvent the story. Right. People who were not a part of it. Had, and that's when you're going to see, you know, uh, you know, they're going to say, yeah, I remember, man, there was a group named AKT and they used to sing a song called Show Me. That's what's going to happen. Right. And you know what? The rest of the world from that point on is going to believe that shit. Right. If we hey, don't do question. something about it. You got a question. Man, freestyle was a whole movement, man. Like, <laughs> it, to this day, when we get together, I go to Pandora and, you know, put Stevie B and uh, somebody and just put, you know, like a mix. To this day in 2020. So, yeah, freestyle was a movement. Live wire, bro. Thank you, man. Yeah, you right, man. You absolutely that, that was a right. great way of putting it. That was a great way of putting it, live wire. Yeah, it was and, and, and and so you know, man. You know, I, I know you listen to it on Pandora, but I want you to realize if you don't, you might want to follow us to check it out. But it's still very relevant. I mean, we are still doing concerts throughout the country. I'm talking about huge concerts. There's still a lot of clubs that are banging it. It's still, it's just so underground. But there are so many people that all they know about it is what they hear on like Pandora or Spotify or whatever. They don't realize that it still exists in it on a whole other level, man. But I But you know what you. it is? It, it was definitely a movement, but so many of the artists got disillusioned when, you know, the, 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 the heads of the labels, the management companies, when they took over and they made it a business and a business where they made their money, where we were insignificant, yeah. So you yeah. lose that spark where you where it was a movement and 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 you were just doing, you know, you were doing it for your people, not only for yourself, you were doing it for your people, you were doing it for New York, you were doing it for Florida, you were doing it, you know, it just became well, definitely not a movement, let's put it that way. Right, right. So and, check and, this and, out. And, and if it was to become a movement again, I think that's where the strength would be. Yeah. But you know what? That's a good topic for tomorrow because we're going to can it. We're going to can it now and we'll be back on here tomorrow at noon, uh, people. Um, so I don't want to keep it going because like I said, we're trying to do this daily and there's a lot of shit to talk about and well, kind of want to we'll deal with one subject at a time. But tomorrow, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to probably, we're probably going to do a show based on the culture of freestyle. You know, you know, pretty much, you know, where it was, where it's at, where it might be going. So, if you guys can, uh, as soon as I put that show up for tomorrow, it'll be around noon, uh, subscribe to that show. And, and let's talk about that. If you have any questions regarding, or maybe you have some great suggestions, please come on here and hang with us. And like I said, we don't want to kill it. And, and, and today's Saturday. It's probably a beautiful day in most places. <laughs> um, go out there, enjoy your day, be safe. But uh, I just want to thank everyone uh, who came on today. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank um, you. And, yeah. And, Thank you. Um, Please come and check us out. Come and check us out every day. We'll be here. Yeah, we're going to check this last message, and then from here, we'll answer whatever question, and we, we're going to dip. But I appreciate you guys. Hold on one second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're the Angela Mercado? Like, the, the lead singer? That's crazy. Yo, listen. Y'all don't understand, man. Like... <laughs> 
I always said it. Why is the freestyle not like it should be relevant today, bro? Like that movie could resonate. Yeah. I mean, the the movie. You hear me? I'm sorry. Yeah. That that's that movement and, and music could resonate. I, I yeah, I just don't get it. And they still got concerts. I see. I mean, I've been to a couple in Orlando, but uh, okay, when I was down okay. there. Oh yeah, Orlando's still banging, still banging. You know, and when this is over. It'll be back. It'll be back open. Yeah, this Angel from uh, the lead singer of the Cover Girls. You're right. But uh, I appreciate you tuning in, man. If you know anybody else who you're feeling who, who, who loves the music, man, please let them know about our show. And we're trying to come on here every day. And uh, we're trying to discuss this. And uh, whatever input uh, you have, man, we appreciate it. So I want and everybody else. And subscribe to us. Likewise, subscribe to us and everyone else. Please subscribe to the show. So you'll I'm a know that's our show to come here. <laughs> but um yeah I don't I don't rap though but I literally only freestyle alright <laughs> alright I appreciate you bro hey come on tomorrow guys I appreciate you guys tuning in uh my name is Latif Mikado we got Angel on the other side and uh stay safe be cool peace out y'all bye